Joining me to further discuss this is the Director General of Lagos Chamber for Commerce and Industry, Muda Yusuf. We apologize. Mr. Yusuf, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, so please, what do you make of ShopRite's exit plan? Or what toll do you think that this will take on the country's economy, particularly foreign direct investment? Well, it's unfortunate that we have this development because uh, coming to some of us as a very big surprise, given the strong presence of ShopRite in the Nigerian economy. First, I think it has a negative signaling effect for investors. Because once such a big investor is leaving your country, uh, it sends a very bad signal. Mm -hmm. It shows clearly that something must be fundamentally wrong. For an investor as big as ShopRite to walk away from a market of the size of Nigeria. But this is the biggest retail market in the whole of Africa. So certainly there must have been some issues which are very fundamental which they are not disclosing. But for me, uh, the way I see things, as we look at the whole retail sector, which is where they play, there have been quite a lot of issues. There are issues around the forex liquidity, because most of the items that are sold in the retail business are imported. There are issues about remittances. Many investors currently are having challenges remitting funds abroad either to import goods or even to remit their dividends of profit. You know, there are issues, issues around our trade policy. Because our trade policy is very, very restrictive. There are issues around our uh, trade facilitation issues. Clearing cargo at the ports and all of these things. So there are a whole lot of issues with these investors are contending with. But you know there are also reports uh, by the management saying that uh, it's actually not leaving Nigeria. It's only giving opportunity to Nigerian investors to come in and drive uh, the expansion plan in Nigeria. You think that this would be a game changer in Nigeria's retail sector? No, no, no. You see, it's, it's a partial exit. Because it may not be a complete exit, but it's a partial exit. The point I'm making is that if these things are happening, then we have to interrogate it a bit further in order to make this environment much better. Of course, even as we speak, I'm sure we, they have some Nigerian shareholders. So if they want to divest a bit more, that is fine. That will give more Nigerian opportunity. But what I'm saying is that for them to take that step, we also need to be a bit more introspective. We need to look inwards and see what exactly is going on so that more investors will not leave the country. Because right now, investors are facing a lot of challenges, and we need to fix all these challenges. That is the point I'm making. Mm. And you've clearly told us that. We've clearly made your points, and we understand you, Dr. Yeah. Uh, Muda Yusuf, DG of LCCI. Thank you very much for speaking to us on News Thank now. you very much. <laughs>